This conference will now be recorded. Hi, good evening, everyone. So let's start the session. Till now, we have in the basic programming, we covered variable lists in Gankation, how we can execute the Python code, how we can do the installation, what are the conditional statements, if else, how loop works in Python, what, what is the range operator? What are the functions? Length function we saw to calculate the length of an object. And what is true? What is true and what is false? In the last two classes, we have seen what are the methods, object methods. And we have seen string data type and list data type and their methods. So today's agenda is we will understand what are the sequence and collections, what is mutable and immutable objects, what is variable and object relationships. When we create any variable, then what is the relationship of that variable with the object? Then we'll see the giga types. What is the giga types? And we will cover number and tuple giga type today. Like we did list and strings in past. Today we'll see number and tuple. Okay, so few things I wanted to I need to see what was that link. Usually I open that. Over here, I guess. Let me close this. Okay. So just one few simple things I wanted to tell. So when we do print something, so Python course, okay. And when we print any anything else, okay. So what happens if I execute, you notice one thing, first print, comes in the first line and then new line automatically comes and then the new next line in the next line. So if suppose I want to give that I don't want new line here. Okay, I want this continuity, but I want to print this way. So here we can give like comma and equal to here. So by default, this is like this and is this. This is the by default. If I execute this, then same is happening, right? This is kind of default, but I don't want new line character, right? So it, now how it will work? It will remove the new line here, okay? So this is maybe you if you do programming you Google then you may come across this. So I just uh, Wanted to show you and uh, I know just few more things mm -hmm. Yeah, one more thing uh, In the few sessions back we saw if we assign some string and I was trying to help on this x variable, which is a string, it wasn't showing me the help. Okay, it is not showing me the method and all that, right? So what we can do, we can, in the help of a string, if I want to see the string help, then I can do like this str. Then I can see all the methods and those available for the string object here. 
I can see I can find something. I can format, I can format map, I can find the index number. Uh, what we gig practice. We get some if you remember lower upper lower function we try to make the string lower and upper okay, you upper function we like yeah we like few methods of the string object okay so if you want to test for the integer like for a number then we get the methods for a integer okay this these are the method no 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 not this this is the method this is the method no no this even yeah this is the method this okay this is a method and this is also a method these are awkward not the common one okay so we'll see that in few minutes okay so today let's start our session with the sequences and collections so in python sequence is anything which is a uh, kind of set of ordered ev events elements i would say okay so list couple we will come across string and ranges range range operator we get if you remember to generate the sequence of numbers so we can these can be referred as sequence in python because their ordered is always fixed okay so i mean list is a sequence because if i i mean if i create this list then the order of one two three four will always be same and unless i change it okay always i get the one two three four if whenever i print i get the same order so this is that's why we call a sequence and similarly couple string order is if i write any string like my name then it would be remain in the same sequence okay so this is not my name but uh, this is the organizer of this course mahesh kumavat if i write and then i bring my name here then it always will be the same it won't be like kumavat mahesh or h e s h k u m a w m a it won't be like that it will be the same sequence so that's why we call these sequence now now one thing is on the sequence we can apply the slice operation okay on the sequences so if this is a sequence i can apply the sequence uh, the slice operation means if i want to see 0 to 3 index number okay it won't print because i didn't give the print command so then it will work right it will show me the slice only 0 1 2 mah no excluding the last number okay so on the on the sequence we can apply the slice operation now you will know what is collections so collections are just a container which contains the objects okay so what are the example of collections list tuple set dictionary so these are the collections in python 
if somewhere we see that Python, Python collections, we can apply this this thing or some other stuff we can apply. So that only means they are referring list, tuple, set, and dictionary. These four data types you haven't seen across till now. We will learn, but this is just a uh, to tell you that what are the sequence, what are the collections in Python. Okay, so let's move on. Mutable and immutable objects. Okay, that we have already understand the last time. What are the mutable objects? Mutable objects are those in which we can change the value in the original object. Those are mutable, means we can modify. An example of mutable objects are list, set, dictionary. So list is a mutable because I can always change the original object. If it is a my list, let's see one, two, three, four, five. If I want to change my list, suppose post element means at the index number one, I want to assign it uh, one, two, three, and now I want to print my list, then it will be changed. Okay, one, one, two, three. In place of two, I changed it by one, two, three. So I have changed my this list object. So that's why we call it. What we call it? Mutable object. Because we can change the original object. Now, what is immutable object? Immutable objects are those which cannot be changed the original value cannot be changed okay so string let's take example of string that we have already seen but let's uh, see that once give me a moment okay so suppose uh, I here assign a string this x x is a string right so if I want to change the the character which is at the zero index number right I want to change it by the some uh, some name O. I comment it. Okay, so I want to change. So this cannot be changed because this is immutable object. It will give me an error. Okay. String object does not support item assignment. We cannot assign the item to the string object because these are immutable. We cannot change. Okay, so if I again print here, it gives error, so it won't work. So this is an wrong statement. We cannot change the immutable object. So immutable objects are numbers, string, and tuple. What we have seen immutability in this string. If it suppose a number, I say one, two, three. If it's a number, I want to change this x0 equal to 9. Will it change? Again, int object does not support item assignment. Okay. Can we do the slice operation on this? x what is the zero index number zero okay x zero just 
int object is not subscriptable okay so this is actually a single assignment we cannot uh, do the subscriptions like this in the string in the string or list we can apply the uh, index number because number is not a sequence right we cannot apply the this this slice operation on the number because this is what are my sequences list tuple string and ranges okay not the number so i cannot apply this uh, sequence okay so any question till now uh, okay so let's see what is variable object and references how they are related so whenever we create a variable okay let's we created a variable a so how it works suppose i assign a equal to 3 so how it works python will create a object okay tell me what is object in this in this statement so let me tell you object is three okay three is the object and a is the variable name this variable name is referring to the object and the object value is three right in the memory we have an object with value three and a variable is referring to this object so this is how we can explain it so python will create an object in memory three and then will after that this variable will be created and will refer to this object so this is how it happens okay so if i want to see how can i know that my variable what is the data type of the object how i can check so print type is a function and what we give to type the variable name or object a I give it a now it will tell me what is this type object it is execute ink so integer a is a integer type of object okay suppose now I make a string okay string and now I want to check what is the type of a again so now it has been changed from integer to a string int was for integer str for a string okay this is how it can be changed object similarly string or float i can change it float or list i can do anyway okay even i can now assign it a list one two three and if i check this again now this will be a list okay i hope this is clear so one cops concept is garbage collection so in programming when we create multiple variables multiple objects get created okay object created means something something a chunk of memory is being occupied by the object so how the python is cleaning this suppose i created a program this okay this is my program whatever i have written now three was an object a was referring to three 
mk was an object a was referring that now list is the object okay now i am doing my rest of the program whatever i do so at this moment when i did this a equal to one two three is there any use of these two objects three and mk because now now the same variable is referring to this object so now there is no use of mk string object and this integer object so these object must be occupying some memory right these two so how the python works it will remove this delete this okay mk and three at this level at this level so that's we have the enough memory we are we are using the best use of memory so this is called garbage collection this is a garbage now this is a garbage at this point because at this point variable a is referring to this object so now i cannot use mkn3 anyway in the further program so at this point i can delete this python does it automatically you don't need to care for that okay so let's see i have created one integer object and x is referring this object and y i have right this statement so now how what is happening x is a variable name which is referring to this object now y is an another variable which is referring to the same object 10 okay both are referring to the same object now x the, the x y equal to x the value which x was referring will be the same object will be referred by the y because of this statement okay so how we can how we can check print x comma y okay let's see what is x comma y both has 10 x is also 10 y is also 10 but how can i check if the memory location is same for x and y okay so how we can do that if x y if oh sorry if x double equal to y print uh, x and y have same value okay if the value so what does it mean equality it is checking whether the left value is equal to y, uh, the right hand x is 10 y is 10 so it will print this correct let's see that both are equal x and y so this is printed now i want to see whether memory location is same x is y now x and y have same mem location okay so if this is true x if memory location of both the object is same then this condition is true and this line will be printed correct this is printing so let's do one thing now I do one thing x equal to x plus 5 okay so what I have done now after this line would anyone like to tell me what we have done now what is x and y what is the value of x and y at this point here what is x and why anybody interested here 
if anyone want to speak access 15 okay and why is hmm? 10 why is why 10? Is 10 okay so x x equal to 10 okay here y become 10 y is referring to 10 now x equal to x x was 10 x 10 plus 1 5 15 so x become 15 but y is still same still 10 so what is happening here if i show you in this uh, i could be there i guess so what is happening here x was 10 and y was referring to 10 okay but when i assigned something to x some other value or anything we changed it so this reference will be deleted which was with the object 10 and it will refer to the new object abcd as per this screen and why still referring to the old object okay so the same happened in our case okay so let's uh i don't need to print because i hope we all know by now so now i want to see whether the memory location is same never because both are different object different object meaning different memory location it won't show anything okay if i want to see if both have equal values no one has 10 another has 15 so this is how we can check with equality operator or is is operator that whether memory location is same or the the content of the variables are equal just i print here so that you can see x is uh, 15 y is 10 okay same which we just discussed okay but remember one thing when we talk about the object uh, like this uh, let's see this way x equal to 10 y equal to 10 okay this is a bit interesting now see if x is y y print hi if both memory now will the memory location will be same i am assigning the same value okay same memory location x i add both condition same values okay if both has the same memory location then this line will be printed if both has same value x and y then same values will be printed okay same memory location so python when you ran this command python will see 10 this object is already created in the memory let's refer y will refer to that object okay now suppose i talk about i remember i have already gone through this a uh, few sessions back so now if suppose i am creating list four five same list will the same happen this time also with the list no so both the lists are same so that's why it bring it back but when we create a list python interpreter will always create a different object it doesn't matter whether the the, the list is same 
but it will create a different object. This is different object. This is different object. That's why it is not printing because memory 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 location is different for the both the objects. However, values are same. Any question till here? Yes, sir. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Yep. Sir, Go I ahead. want to know: Is there any function which is used for, um, like, uh, uh, for searching the same memory location is uh, is having both uh, elements or not? Like X, Y, we are using loop. Is there any other function? Other function to check if <clears throat> memory location are same of the variable. Yes, sir. So let me re, re I take your question. So your question. Let me know if I am understand correct. Your question is Is there any function if we can give the function to variable then it will tell me whether both have the same memory location or not correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so what is the function? We know a piece of code which we don't want to repeat again and again. I can create, I can refer that function, right? I just pass it. I can use that function to know whether again and again I can refer that function at any point of time in my code. So you can create it, aren't you? So if I create a function, so actually, def, I want to know. Mm -hmm. Sorry, to interrupt you. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, sir, actually, I want to know, like, uh, uh, just say, C four methods. Is there any other method like that uh, which is used for just checking out the same the variables as same memory location or not? No, no. Okay, you you want if there is out of the box there in the Python. Okay, so in Python, Python organization gives us a lot of things out of the box. Okay, so the beauty of Python is there are many other organizations creating their own modules and functions and just adding, uh, we can use them. Okay, there might be many things, many module which, which people have created, we can import them. Okay, you can just Google it a function to check the duplicate uh, same memory location. So there might be some module and you can import those module and you can use that. But but this is something you don't need any module for this, right? This is very, very basic. So what we can do, we can just type make our own function. What you have to do, you have give it a two arguments two parameter it takes and here you define your logic okay the same logic which i have done here okay if x is y then you print this right and you can call this function anytime function name is mem location and pass the values or whatever you want to pass suppose if i want to Pass the object. Okay, so this is your function. Why you will go for uh, uh, some module to use that? Okay, indentation error expected and indented block. There might be indentation error. This this spring should be in the block of if. Okay, so we can execute that same memory location. If I pass here something, it will give me different memory means it won't give this print so so these this we can create ourselves these small things anyone any any other question okay let's take a one minute break and then we will start the data types just give me a one minute
All right. Okay. So what are the integer types? Let's see. What are the standard giga types? So we know that we have a different types of data. When I talk about the name, what is your name? Okay, Shruti Khan Sharma, then this is a string data type. If someone asks me what is your age? Suppose 90. So this is an integer data type. Someone asks me the address, where do you live? Okay, city and all that. So that is a different data. So all this data is stored in the memory. And it is important that what type of data we are dealing with. Because according to the data, they have different different design. The design in that respective. How they can use the memory for different type of data. Okay, like list, it would use the memory in a different way. A string will use in a different way. Couple will use a memory in a different way. Okay, so all has different methods or features using the memory management. So let's see what all are the data types in Python. So in Python, built-in types are numbers that we know number 10, 15, 20, strings, any name, list that we know. We are aware with number, string, and list. These three data types. What all other inbuilt data types are? Dictionary, tuple, file, set. So these are built-in. Now few are the core types like boolean, true or false, none, nothing, types. Okay, these are core types. But there are some data types which we can create. What are those? Program Unix. I would say program Unix which we can create. Python, Python allows us to create a function. Okay, that is we can create. Contrary, when I create a string, I am not creating a something new. It is just a copy. String is already there defined in the Python. I'm just creating a variable, a copy of it, an instance of it, kind of, just for understanding purpose. But here, function, I create myself as an individual entity. Modules, which I can create for myself or for any anyone classes I can create different different classes in Python. So the third column says what I can create myself and these first two which are built in provided by the Python. OK. We will take uh, one by one. So no rush. So let's see this. Uh, So example of integer we know three three and two and greg floating point numbers can be there. The type is float. Decimal is there. <coughs> Strings str represent by str. Hello in double quotes or single quotes. Okay, anything. Lists. List is the type. This is how we can represent a list. Dictionary. Okay. Curly braces and key and value pair. Key, colon, value. Okay. First element. Second element, comma, after comma, name and Frankie. So this is how I write the dictionary. Tuple. It is similar to list, but there is a round bracket in the tuple. Okay round bracket set the same like dictionary curly braces but it was key values pair colon was for key value pair there is nothing like that it is just different elements 
booleans so booleans it is very slow booleans true or false okay true or false okay so now we understand the we will work on the num integers and tuples in the rest of the session okay okay so suppose i create one uh, number i want to see what is x i know i have the type function i can pass it x and then it print me the type of object class int integer is the type now you know what is a help on that so i can type you want to know the help on type how you can use type I execute this so It is giving us kind of everything internal, not like uh, that simple way that this is to tell the type of object. Okay, anyway, no problem. If I make it a float number, means decimal, then it will make it a float data type okay we are good now what all are the methods on the integer let's see integer what all are the method help ink what all are the methods this, this is something internal right go at bottom so call bit length these these are not used like that okay so nothing much so as a method we don't have much like that and how do we know how we identify the method method i always call with the dot if there is any method name I will call like this okay this could be different name but we don't have any method like one which we use usually but we have the functions in Python okay so we can use those functions and those functions are mainly for the integer data type so that you must know the difference one thing is the methods of the object which we can apply with the help of dot another thing is there are separate functions in the python we can refer those functions and those are mainly for the integer okay so both are different methods and these functions okay let's see uh, what all those functions are uh, where are those okay maybe it's not capture here or something yeah here so abs absolute function gave mod function max min power round sum okay let's see so x i have assigned a value to it with minus and i want to refer the abs okay abs
okay help on built-in function apps in module built-ins apps x return the absolute value of the argument whatever argument we pass to this it will return me the absolute value absolute value means it will remove the minus if i pass it x uh, let me make like this print i call absolute function i pass it x okay as an argument print that so it gave me the absolute value positive value if it is already positive then it won't do anything okay if it is uh, like this nothing will happen if it is a minus then it will give me the positive value so what is the if i see the different give mod method okay give mod okay let's see the first the easier one max min usually we can use max min max okay max so understand this max what we are passing to max in the bracket iterable comma this stuff this is sub and everything is optional not needed but we have to pass it iterable iterable what is iterable list is a iterable list tuple or string iterable means where i can iterate in the each element of the of the object i can iterate for i for t for e in the for loop i can do this all the sequence are iterable i would say uh, list couple strings okay that we can iterate so if i create one list here five okay and i provide it print i pa i call the max function <clears throat> i pass the aggregator means a list aggregable means suppose a list here in our case then what it does five five is my maximum number so it gave me the maximum number okay second is saying i can give the argument like this also argument one argument two okay like this so i can pass like 10 23 44 1 44 29 okay let's see so it is giving me the maximum number similarly i can call the minimum function one one is the smallest minimum number remember max min always needed the uh, this either it should be integers or the strings if suppose i do both I here add some name also. Okay, string, then it should give me an error. It give me an error. Okay. But if I do something like that, A C B H. ac now it is giving me minimum because now all the strings so whatever starts earlier in the sequence they those all have the encoding some numeric okay which 
uh, Python will understand unicoding is there AC will be convert into some number uh, 16 bit or maybe 24 bit so whatever small is there it will print that AC AC comes first so it shows that but if you add a number then it will give you give an error it should be either strings or the number okay so if i see uh, one more function sum power is also there sum is also there so we can call the sum i table again i can give the i table okay so print sum x it should give me the sum of x 15 5 4 9 9 10 10 5 15 okay so this is how start zero i table this is all are the optional return the sum of a start the sum of a start values what it return the sum of a start this start value default it has been given zero plus an agreeable of numbers so it is what it gives sum of this plus this but by default this is zero so if i pass it some other number 10 then how it works 25 because as per the definition i am adding the i table plus this if i don't give this it is a zero if i make it 20 then it should be 35 35 so are we going good any question till now okay so this was the number okay let's go towards tuple tuple so rest you can perform power three power five like that round two after decimal if you want something rounds a floating point value okay it may have 10 after decimal 10 digits so if you can round it to two give marks they can quotient and remainder of integer division okay if you want to just know what is the quotient after division and the remainder then this is being used so these we uses tuple tuple is a sequence data type like list list is a sequence tuple is also a sequence so if I want to create a tuple, then what I have to do in the round brackets, I just assign the elements exactly like list. Okay. If I want to print X, so it will print me the tuple, tuple round bracket means tuple if just for your memory i make it uh, list here and print the list it will list me the list round brackets okay the difference we can see but there is one difference by now you would know tuple means this object is immutable we cannot modify this list is mutable let's prove that if i assign anything the index number zero let's uh, okay 
let's assign anything to this it means at this position where one is right now it will give me an error because this is immutable object that we know couple object does not support item assignment but this will work because this is mutable so that is the difference so you should know mutability what is mutable and which one is the immutable okay okay in tuple we can have the duplicate values like four okay in list also we can have the duplicate values and tuple has the fixed length always because this this is immutable you cannot insert anything you cannot remove anything so the length will be fixed right if i want to check the length of this how to the length function i pass this tuple it will tell me the length of the tuple egg okay so the egg is the length now uh, if i see the help of tuple do we have any addition means insert or append which method were available for uh the methods were available for list are those available for tuple also sorry kup i think it's kup only how do we refer tuple mm, there was um, tup okay it doesn't take this um, I'm making any mistake. Anyway, print type X. Okay, let's see what is the type tuple. And now I can take help on T U P L E and print the help tuple okay so let's see so it doesn't have those methods append delete or remove any anything so this is a fixed we cannot if we cannot add anything remove anything then this will be the fixed length okay okay and this tuple may have the different kind of data like it can have the list again it can have the tuple like list can have the any level of data types so it also support that okay 10 so till here it was the eight elements this is ninth and this is tenth element okay so let's take uh, one example x is a tuple and i create one more tuple 100 and this is string okay so these two are the tuple so i can do the this is a sequence tuple is a sequence so i can do the slice operation print x i can do to see my tuple correct i can do the slice operation uh, fourth element index number four four it is four right so i can do that if i want to see from zero to four the same slice operation i can perform as we get on the list and string okay zero to four zero one two three four is excluding so one two three four it resulted me a tuple 
with these first four elements now i want anything after two everything until the last element so from two zero one two from this place it will bring me all everything okay here so i can do the concatenation also sorry the what we call it star three if i repetition operator if i want to print a three times the couple then this will be a very big list three time okay and if i want to concatenate x plus y I remove this like so this is my couple I want to add these two couples okay it created result me a new couple with the concatenation both are hanging okay so I'll do one thing x is a list with uh, a b c two three x y z okay x and i create another variable with same elements so I'm writing here X two equal to one thousand Y two equal to two thousand. Okay. So do you can anyone tell me if is there any mistake in this? Please unmute yourself if you know and let us know. Anyone? Okay, one hint. This is a tuple. However, you can see, but this is a hint only. And this is a list. Here, I am trying to change the list. Changing list. Sorry? Can't change the value of tuple. Can't change the value of double. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Thanks. Okay, yeah. so that is correct. Y is a couple, right? And I cannot change the value. Here I am trying to change the index number two with this value, and I cannot change it. It should give me an error. Error. Couple object does not support item assignment. Okay, it doesn't support. If I comment it now it should work. However, I didn't print anything, so it didn't print, but this code is working. So tuple has two methods. Okay. Help tuple. Let's go through them. Count and index number okay so suppose i have a tuple one two three four five six two one okay and i want to count value return number of occurrence of value whatever value we provide it to the count method it will give me the count 
of that how many timing has occurred so x is my tuple i am calling count method i have to pass a value suppose two then it should give me a occurrence how many occurrence of two are there like spring after help it should give me the output two okay one two only two time two is there so it gave me the output two now index number index number i just assign it a value and then what it gives me okay value and this is optional okay square bracket meaning optional return first index of value it return me first index of value suppose there are multiple values 2 is here and here so what index will return me the first occurrence index number x dot index 2 is my value so it will return me this what is the index number of this 0 1 1 1 is index number suppose i add some more element now the index number changes 1 2 sorry 0 1 2 3 4 5 it should be 5 okay it won't print this if I remove that, then it will change that also. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so ninth. Okay, nine is an index number. So I have only two methods on the couple, but it is immutable. We cannot change this couple we can apply the slicing because this is a sequence we can add the tuple two tuples we can do the repetition operator okay all that we can apply on the tuple okay let's have one quick we are just almost there so if i want to print return the first position then how i can okay one more thing so th th there are two different ways i can do this tuple assignment it is uh, not mandatory if i do this then it is also a tuple okay x without mentioning anything by default it makes the tuple just i give you a proof type x okay let's see what is the x type here couple okay so both both works both are okay print so if i want to print the item at first position then same i do okay the index number one means this one this one sorry the, the this uh, let's change this two okay so i can extract this i am not able to change the value of the tuple okay we know we cannot do like that this gives error and i can iterate through the items and we can print correct i can iterate through the tuple for okay let me take you that way if suppose x is one two three so what we did in the list for x or i because x is already defined for i in the name of list here x colon print 
i okay one by one i will get one then two then three and i will print uh, one by one all the elements one two three so similarly the tuple will also work access tuple now right so i will individually i can print now i can print the tuple one two three four five six seven so for applies on the tuple also in the same way now you want to see if is there any five exist in the tuple correct so how we can see that so if five in x x is a tuple then print yes five it doesn't work this way so suppose i take some name here mm, apple like that so i do this and if i print this way apple if apple in tuple x then print okay so it is not working this way so what i can do for i in x okay one by one it will come here i can apply the if condition if i equal to what you want to check apple apple colon this print present so i can do this this way present so if i want to print uh, if i want to see five here if i whenever it see i the value of x as five it will go into this condition i5 equal to five yeah that that's true then it will go into this statement present i change it this yes present so we can do this way so i hope we understand this all because we have covered right a for and all that so uh, we can delete the tuple okay we can delete the tuple with the del keyword x now if you want to print it will give me an error because here i have deleted this tuple and here i am printing something which is not exist okay let's i command it then it should be working okay okay let's see that error name x is not defined by this time this x is not defined because i have deleted this right so this x is gone deleted and uh, we cannot remove any element of tuples because there is no method for that but now i will tell you some interesting things quickly so this is uh, just make that simple way and suppose i this is a list okay so print x what is the index number zero a list at index number zero we have a this list first element see now tuple is immutable object now understand very clearly tuple is a immutable object i cannot insert or delete anything tuple i cannot delete the tuple elements of the tuple i cannot add but i can change the elements of tuple if those supports mutability okay so that's the difference i cannot change the tuple but i can change the the elements of the tuple 
if those are supporting mutability so this is a list this supports mutability correct i as because this is a list i can change i can add i can delete anything okay let's do that print x0 means this list now i want to see what is at the zero position it should be 9 0 9x7 what is the zero index number 9 9 okay we are good now now i want to change this to something i changed it okay now print x remember earlier i was not able to assign anything to tuple but this is a tuple x but now i am referring this list an element of the tuple which supports mutability i am just adding modifying the first element of that let's see does it give error no it doesn't give any error i changed it so now the definition of tuple is tuple does not support mutability but the contents of tuple if support the mutability then we can modify those or even i can do the append operation also how to do that append if i append this with uh, new uh, x0 list okay x0 is a list i am appending this with the new value then let's see that list object attribute append is read only it says this is only read only we cannot modify mm, list object attribute so we can maybe modify but if i want to append then how i do that let's see that first maybe we can't do but we can try one two three okay why dot append oh maybe i was doing something wrong here i give the value correct uh, new so this is how i append it maybe i was doing here wrong if i do like that then it should work maybe yep new value okay i was doing the syntax error so i can do those normal thing on the list so this is something interesting and by this uh, so so this couple this is the last thing which we must know and today uh, that's it i have that much only let me stop my recording